What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Anthony and today we've got another Zillica technical analysis update. I made this video about a week ago and since then I wanna let you know what has happened, what part of my predictions have come true, and where we could go from here. I also wanna go over what we do on this channel for our first time viewers. So Crypto Ride is the YouTube channel that helps you safely navigate the ups and downs and volatility in cryptocurrency through crypto news videos, technical analysis videos like the one you're about to watch, and crypto project review videos. So let's get right into it. On June 18th, the staking, or what we call soft staking for Zillica, went live through Pool X, which happens through the KuCoin website. To my knowledge, you can also do staking through Binance. And just for the record, they are anticipating 3% to 10% uh, APR, right? The annual yield returns that you could get and the minimum to stake your Zillica is 10. So all you need to own is 10 Zillica and you know these things are so inexpensive. That's basically like owning, let's say 20 cents worth of Zillica. So you don't need to own a lot to start staking and participating and you can do it on the KuCoin exchange. Let's take a quick look at the market before we get into the TA. We are up 2.6% on the day, trading at 275 billion, or that is the overall cryptocurrency market cap, I should say. And Zillica, as you probably noticed, has witnessed the pullback we were talking about in our last video. And at the time of this recording is trading at 1.95 sense and we're going to talk about if this could be a good time for you to establish a position in Zillica and where it could go from here if you're already holding or considering trading it and give you some trading ideas so let's get into it the last time I made a video was on June 12th as I mentioned before and I should say this that was the first TA video I ever did on Zillica if you enjoy my technical analysis like if you watch that one and you're watching this one you know, and you like what you're hearing, let me know in the comment section below and I will continue to make updates. But during that video, I did predict a pullback. That was right at the end of this parabolic run here. And I was predicting a pullback because we were extremely overbought on the RSI and I just thought it was inevitable. And lo and behold, that's exactly what we got. I talked about how it could be a rounding bottom pattern, which I still believe it could. And we certainly had that, but I also predicted a cup and handle on the end of it. So this being the cup, and this being a handle. And I believe the cup and handle pattern is still in play right now. A cup and handle price pattern on a securities price chart is a technical indicator that resembles a cup with a handle, where the cup is in the shape of a U, which we were calling our rounded bottom, and the handle has a slight downward drift, which I'm gonna show you in a moment because I still think this is a possibility. The cup and handle is considered a bullish signal. So even though we are experiencing this downtrend right now, if the cup and handle plays out, if the handle plays out, the second part of the pattern, right? Because we have our cup. If we get the handle, then we could shoot up and see this type of breakout. Remember, you have to watch the video I made last time. I'm not going to go deep into it right here, but I'll put a link to it um, on top of the screen up here. But the potential breakouts from that could be as high as almost five cents, but more conservatively, we were talking about last time, I think just under four cents, but that is all contingent on us breaking past this yellow line of resistance, which is at 2.68 cents. But let's talk about some things that are worth considering when you're talking about the cup and handle pattern. Ideally, the cup itself should not be overly deep and you, you have to avoid handles that are overly deep also. Handles should form in the top half of the cup pattern. So that is what I want to talk about today. So let's get into it. You can see we have our Fibonacci retracement patterns drawn. I've got what looks like a bullish flag here, but you know, if I get rid of this line and we just focus right here, you can see we have a descending parallel channel in the making here. And we're going to talk more about that, you know, and potential breakout areas, target prices and things like that in a minute. But let's just talk about the overall height of this handle right now, because we are getting the handle that we talked about. And in the last video, I said you should expect this handle to take seven to 14 days. I am now going to say to you, that I think it might actually take a bit longer. I wouldn't be surprised to see this handle last for about three weeks because this was an extremely bullish pattern. So we might have to be a little bit patient here. But here's how these Fibonacci levels work without getting too deep into it. Um, basically, I did the retracement from the lowest point 
of our rounding bottom here or our cut pattern to the swing high. So this is the swing low to the swing high, and this is how you draw your Fibonacci retracements. And Fibonacci retracements, if you don't know much about them, represent levels, really psychological levels that play out in all sorts of different patterns throughout nature and society in the world, and they certainly come into play when you're trading. The yellow line here is a very significant Fib level, which is the 0.382, and you can see that's exactly where we stalled most recently. Now, if we fall to this green line, it would be towards the bottom of this channel here. It would also, if you look at this line I'm clicking on right now, this white line is the 50-day moving average. So I think in a worst case scenario, and I'm not predicting this, but I think it is possible for the price to fall around this point, which would be 1.6 cents. Now we haven't seen that yet. If we get that low, I would expect a strong bounce back off of that pattern. But it is also possible that the 0.382 Fib level right here could act as support, right, as it's kind of been doing right now in the last two days. These are daily candles. And we could end up shooting back to the top of this parallel channel. So let's talk a little bit more about this descending channel as I have zoomed in here. And the descending channel is the blue line here. This dotted line represents the median of it, which is dead smack in the middle of the channel. And you've got this support zone. Now, if you're considering investing or trying to trade this, this support zone represents an area that I think could potentially offer some good profits if the price goes that low. Okay, nothing I say is financial advice. I also want to be very clear about that on this channel. But these are just ideas. I'm here to give you ideas and to just tell you what could potentially happen based on probabilities and chart analysis. Based on the FIB levels and where our previous support was and resistance, right, and the bottom of this channel, I think anywhere in here in the future could present a really interesting buying opportunity if you get the chance to do that. And as you can see, we have been bouncing from the top to the bottom of this channel. It has happened a few times, and now we are stalled. So it is possible that we could bounce up to top again and then fall somewhere into this buying range over the next few days. But the long game, what we really want to look for as long-term Zillica hodlers, if that's what you are, is you wanna look for it to break past this blue line and also this white line of resistance. So what that price level is, as you can see over here, is 2.2 cents. But if you can see Zillica break past this 2.2 cents and then break past 2.7 cents, then that is your confirmation line and we could see continued upside motion rising somewhere. I'm not gonna say it'll go all the way to the top, but rising, let's say halfway up this pattern to I would say 3.9 cents. That's what I'm gonna stick to because it's roughly half of the breakout pattern. That would be your best case scenario. But I do want to say if you've been watching this and kind of getting nervous if you invested a lot of money in Zillica, um, this, all this action that we've seen since I made my last video is healthy. This is a healthy correction and it remains to be seen what will happen from here. But do not panic yet. This is a healthy pullback. Like our video and subscribe to the channel if you found value in the content. Again, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more Zillica technical analysis from me. Never invest more than you can afford to lose in cryptocurrency and enjoy the ride. Take care.